Hi there, this is Tim from milehighthemes.com. We're the creators of the multi-theme. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up your header and navigational options with the theme. I think you're going to find that without question, this theme has the most header and navigation options you will find of any theme out there. It's extremely robust and we think you're really gonna like it. So let's jump right in. So I've actually logged into our main demo store here. I have the main demo here published, and then I have a brand new version of the theme installed here. And this is what you would see when you first install the theme. So first I'm gonna customize this clean version. So this is kind of what yours will look like probably when you first install the theme. So if we look in the header group up here, you can see there's an announcement bar area, header utility bar, header, and navigation bar. The announcement bar is actually not visible right now because we haven't specified any announcements. I'll go ahead and add one so you can see. It populates up here. You can click on the heading itself and see a whole bunch of settings for how to style this. And then you can add your announcements right in here. You can add links to them and icons if you like. So that's this top bar. The next section is the header utility bar, which is this dark gray bar we have here. And we have header, which is this area here with the search bar and logo. And finally, the navigation bar is this bar here. So now that you kind of understand the different sections that come in the header group, I'm gonna jump over to our actual theme demo and sort of deconstruct that just in case you wanna set up something similar. So let's go ahead and exit out of here. I'm gonna leave this page and I'm going to customize our actual demo store. So again, we don't have the announcement bar enabled in the demo, but we're sort of using this header utility bar as a place to have an announcement as well as some other information. You can do the same if you wish. You have the option to do whatever you want. So in the header utility bar, if we expand that, you can see that we've got all of these different blocks in here. This link is actually just this text here, and we're just using it to show some text with an icon. So if we click on that, you can see where it's aligned, you can see where the text is, and you can see some icon options here. We've got a mail link, we've got a phone link, we've got social media icons, and we have a localization selector. Now you'll need to make sure to make You'll need to make sure that your markets are set up in order for this to appear. So set up your markets. If you sell in multiple currencies, multiple countries, then all of those settings will need to be working in order for this to be showing up. In the header area itself, we can click on the heading here and see all of the different options. This is where you're gonna add your logo and choose a lot of different options for how this header will appear. And again, you can add blocks here. So we have a whole bunch of different types of menus that you can add to this. You can just add a regular link if you want. You can show browsing history, so customer products that they've clicked through in the past stored by cookies. You can add some different sections here, featured collection, featured blog, all of these within a menu itself. So it's very, very customizable. You can do pretty much anything you want in this header area. In this case, you see that we have a couple of things hidden here, but we have this shop all link here. And that's this multi-level catalog that's showing the different product grids and groups. And this is all populated basically automatically just using navigation menus. So really robust and functional. If we click on this, there are some options in here and you can choose a menu so this is just a catalog block. I would encourage you to play around with all of these. There's a lot of different choices here and a lot of ways to display your products, collections, and pretty much anything else you want. So that's this menu up here. And then if we go to the navigation bar itself, you can see again, we've got a bunch of different menu options here. If we click under staff picks, We've got a product catalog, so you basically select a collection to display here. You can populate images, and it will show products from that collection automatically in this nice grid format. We've got 
uh, three column mega menu here under outlet that's showing multiple collections. And if we click under here, we've got an image with text section that we've added. So you can add a lot of different sections that would normally be reserved for different areas on the page right within the menu here. So like I was saying, this is the most robust menu system you're gonna find in any theme. There's the browsing history. Uh, I haven't clicked around much in the demo, so just this 11 inch tablet is the only product that I've viewed recently. But it will store this information in cookies and will show products that the customer has recently looked at. Under news, we've got our blog articles showing in here. And then of course, we've just got some regular links to gift cards about us, customer support, that sort of thing. So just clicking add block, you can see we've got all of these different options to add to actual menus. So I would encourage you to play around with these and just see the sheer functionality you can add by using these. And all of these menus are created using just regular nested menus. If we go ahead and click on this catalog, you can see just in your online store navigation area, we've just basically created a nested group of collections. And then these are all collections below that. So under electronics, we have all of these collections added. And then the theme will automatically populate them, showing things like the pricing of the products. So the minimum pricing of the product, the minimum price of a product in this particular collection will show in here automatically. We'll automatically populate these images from the collection featured images. You can add these icons if you like, very robust. So I would suggest playing around with those and seeing all the different options. And again, all the different blocks are in here. We also have drawer menus and they'll pop out a drawer over here. So there's just limitless opportunities here. We also have the ability to add some sections only to the header area. So if we click add section here, you can add all of these sections and they will show below your header on every page of your site. So for example, if you wanted to show this promotional banner and just show it right below your navigational options, you can do that. You can change the color schemes here. There's a lot of different options to choose from. You can add different blocks to that promotional banner. So most of these things are typically reserved for adding to locations on the page itself. But if you use any of these sections in the header block, then they will show on every page. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this promotional banner. If you wanted to add some text that shows at the top of every page right under your header like this, you can do that. So just really robust navigational options. We think you'll find them really useful. I know there's a lot to go through here and we don't have time to go over everything, but please take a few minutes to play around with these and see all of the different options you can use. If you have any questions, of course, please feel free to reach out to our support team and we'd be glad to help. Thank you so much for checking out this video and checking out the multi-theme and we'll see you in the next video.